Hello, this is a um, video of turkey meatloaf, how I make just my meatloaf anyway, but I'm using ground turkey this time. I've used two packages of ground turkey, two pieces of bread torn up and uh, mixed up, and then um, two eggs to help bind the meatloaf. And now I have put half of a uh, one whole onion. I'm using half of what I chopped up and I mixed it up. So that's what it looks like so far. And I'm, as I said, I'm running out of recording time, so I'm going to have to break this uh, recipe up in probably two or three videos. So if I put the phone down, it's because I'm mixing things up. I saved the other half of the white onion to put in like either mixing with the sauce that I make or to put a little bit on top while I bake it. Okay, so I'm putting the phone down. And well, here. I'm not good at making videos, so here we go. Um, this is the beginning of my barbecue sauce. I have put ketchup, I have put, uh, what is it called? Head Country Barbecue Sauce. I usually use the original, but the, the ketchup kind of takes away the tart or the zinginess of the barbecue sauce. I put Worcestershire sauce in it, and I've used um, some minced garlic in it. I've not added any of the seasonings yet. And all this is to your preference, what you prefer, if you prefer it to be a bit more of a stronger barbecue sauce or not. So that's what I've added so far. Ketchup, barbecue sauce, minced garlic, and uh, Worcestershire sauce. So I'm going to start adding the um, seasonings just a moment. I add some dried minced onion. I like a flavor of a strong onion. Okay. And even though there is still minced garlic in this, I add garlic powder. So add some garlic powder. And even though this also has some minced onion, I add onion powder. And again, this is all to your preference. You may think I'm adding too much. Do it your, the, your way, but this is really good if you ever decide to try it. Okay, I'm gonna add some salt. And I'm going to add some black pepper. Okay, and you mix this up really good. Let me get a spoon real quick. And that's basically what it should look like when you get it all mixed up. And then what you do, what I usually do is once I get my sauce mixed up, I pour in half of this mixture into the raw meat, mix it up in the meat, and then I'll, uh, once I get the meatloaf formed, then I'll pour the rest of the meatloaf sauce on top. I'll show you in just a moment. I'm going to go ahead and make another video.